We're in Key Largo mm -hmm. instead of Key West. Key West was like crazy booked up. I mean, it's like, what, an hour ride? What a block fam, welcome to today's episode where we are working on Goldzilla a little bit to get it ready for a trip. I guess we'll go over some like details and stuff that maybe you should do to your motorcycle before going on like a road trip. Like for me, I own a motorcycle shop and I got homies that can take care of me. Yep. We're gonna get the bike up on the lift at some point. Also gonna throw sissy bar on it. But the normal route that you would go, hit up blockheadgarage.com and you would select your service through Iron J Moto here. Justin. Yeah. Fill out the form and then I'll be in touch. Just be like, dear Black Hair Garage, I am going on a long road trip and I would like to make sure that my back is all good. <laughs> <laughs> is that about how it goes? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then we'll get you on the schedule, get you all serviced up. 1K service, 5K, 10K, whatever service it is. Or if you just like want fresh fluids right before you go on a trip, so we're kind of kind of go over that today. Me and some friends are going to the Keys. Uh, I am going to be riding Goldzilla down there. It's a couple things that I need to address. So the rear O2 sensor burned out. Um, so I've had a check engine light for that for a little bit. So we've got a replacement O2 sensor for that. So that's one of the things. Also fluids, uh, it's been a little bit since an oil change, uh, transmission fluid change, all that. So we're gonna definitely do uh, all the fluids on the bike, make sure that those are good. Then I also have a sissy bar since we are going on this trip down to the Keys. Yeah, black and gold knife, what up? All right, so that's not the angle that it'll go, obviously it'll be more back, but there you go, that's a sissy bar. So I'm gonna have a duffel here. Where'd you get the sissy bar? Link in the description below. Cool thing about this sissy bar versus the other one that I just had is this one mounts on the outside of the fender supports, whereas the other one mounted on the inside. Here in Florida, we have sand. I think most places on planet Earth, there is sand. Unfortunately, sand got in between there. Since they're not one piece, they rubbed and uh, scratched up the fender. Not a huge deal to me. I am getting the bike painted at some point. For those of you that won't be getting the bike painted, you might want to get a sissy bar that doesn't rub on the paint like that. So yeah, gonna be installing that today too. Right, just some Goldzilla maintenance and then going on our trip to the Keys, sheesh. We still got the used to be 114. No metal, which is good. Them shoes do be looking good though. You want some oil on them? No, look at those dirty laces. I never did clean them. <laughs> so mad. All right, so there's no, no metal, which is good. That's what I was checking for, mm. smart ass mm. on the plugs. Mm. That's what I was asking, mm -hmm. Vinny. How's that, how them plugs look? Mm -hmm. them no plugs metal? Be, them plugs be plugging. Them plugs? Plugging. Mm -hmm. AF. AF. Fire emoji. Hey. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but with the Harley Davidson Lowrider ST, a lot of people give Harley Davidson about the bags being <laughs> uneven. So on one side, the bag is uneven. It's an Indian chief. So this Dark is a bag. I think. Yeah. Or whatever. There's a bag on one side. There's a bag <laughs> on the other. So don't make fun of Harley anymore. Everybody does it. Just Harley. All you Indian people that like taking shots at Harley or all you Harley people that are Shut up and ride, man. They all God. quietly got together one night and they're like, hey, how can we with everybody? <laughs> all right, guys, Vinny is done with Goldzilla servicing her up. So she is good to go. She's dirty as hell. Sissy bar fit with the uh, mounting hardware for the Leather Pros. I don't know if I'm gonna be using the Leather Pros yet. I might just do the, uh, the rucksack or whatever the hell you wanna call it and uh, strap it to the sissy bar. I do have one more thing to put on here before I depart the shop. That is a windshield from Clockworks. Great company, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about them. They've got like lots of windshields for um, all sorts of different motorcycles, honestly. Uh, but we've used them mostly on road glides and street glides. Um, they usually have like a little lip at the top to kind of really help protect from that wind. I'm gonna be putting this onto the ST. Big shout out to Clockworks. They sent this out for me to try out. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll unbox it. Stop important information. So they give you the windshield, which this is what that looks like. Right on, right on. T27, let's take that one out. Swap over, I'll just do a snap on that too, I guess. There's the clockworks. Clearance at uh, full tilt with flip mirrors. Nice, nice. I think it's actually a little more transparent than the last one. Looks good though. Let's get some bugs on it. And we got some bugs on it. Does anybody smell the cat poop? Cat poop? No. Cat poop. It's a real thing. Probably just in your mustache. 
<laughs> All right, guys, so let's go over the bikes, what everybody's riding. So Wes is... So Wes is on a 2021 Yamaha MT-09 SP. Wes, you want to go over your bike with us real quick? Put a quad lock on last night, or two nights ago. USB charger? Just USB ports. Impact tech, crash cage, they've been on there for a while. Extra gas tank, because apparently we're doing some like legs of the trip, like won't have gas often. Everglades, we're going to get stuck yeah. with the alligators. It's got this bag, got everything in there. Most important part. Yeah, little snacky snacks. Jalapeno. You can have <laughs> oh, That's really want. in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> so I'm on Goldzilla. And I've got this bag from Icon that is completely weatherproof, holds up like a duffel. And then I've got batteries, easily accessible, chargers on the outside and stuff like that. Red Rock Helmet GoPro setup. Trying out these new Odin gloves that Josh gave me, which are freaking awesome because you can just poop. Magnet, Engine Hawk, leather jacket, because uh, it is supposed to be cold. Northerner trigger warning just pissed a lot of y'all off. Then we got the uh, San Diego Customs bar bag, which I've had for years. Keep like kind of various chargers, cables, stuff like that. I keep this GoPro in there, so I'm gonna be getting some rolling shots of these boys and girl. Kenny, what you got? All right, 2017 Road Glide Special. Got a still the 107, but put an SNS 475 cam in it, courtesy of Stall by Blocket Garage, yep. tuned by Sequad Glide. My new project for this trip was this bad boy. Yeah, so. this. Pelican 610 case mounted up here, so plenty of space. <laughs> Carry all sorts of junk. And the part that he showed. Oh yeah. The bags, it's, look how much clearance. It barely has clearance, yeah. <laughs> but they still work. Oh shit, and you got a blockhead oh, yeah. barbecue in there. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Hell yeah. What you riding? Okay, I'm I got riding, your set up. I'm riding uh, the 2021 Pan America, right? I got everything to keep a Harley running. I got jump box, tire plug kit, compressor, metric standard tools. I was able to pack so light because these mother pack so heavy. All right, Jess, what you got? What's your loadout? I have my- Oh shit, the Marshall speakers? Yeah. Fancy. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. <laughs> 2022 BMW R18B. Look at this um, monster. Yeah. It's, Huge. It's look at all this. Pretty lovely. I look for any opportunity to use reverse and close. That's it. Then I'd be broken. You've done like longer trips on the R18 before, right? With BMW? This is my very first road trip on this bike. I did a 600 mile trip on the R18 Classic. Nice. So we are taking a scenic route today. Kenny has actually mapped out the route. We're yep. edge of Orlando right now. We're like South Orlando right now. Normally most people would be like, you know, to make a good speed or a good time in a car, just go over to 95 and then straight down. But we're on bikes. And so it's about the uh, journey, not the destination, right? What do you got planned for us? Uh, Yeehaw Junction is the next stop. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, of, uh, of all That's places. middle of nowhere. So there's a place there, Desert Inn. It's defunct. It's not open anymore, but something cool to check out. Right. Let's go down to Okeechobee, go around Lake Okeechobee, see that. Maybe see some good gators, some actual decent sized ones, not little Some of them guys. prehistoric gators. Yeah. Dinosaurs. Find yeah, uh, an actual sized one uh, for Jess. That's kind of goal number <laughs> one. And then we'll hit the highway down once we get closer to Miami, because there's not too much scenic there. Just get there at that point. Cool. Let's go to the plan. All right, I'm gonna grab water and then we're gonna hit the road. So see you guys on the road. <laughs> This is some kind of like wrecked desert inn, like in Yeehaw Junction. It was a 2019 uh, semi-trailer jackknifed and hit it, and then I think it caught fire part of it, and they got it put out. But I think it was closed at that point anyways. So the semi-trailer was coming through the intersection yeah, and just like... Some poof. direction and hit that other end of it. Jesus. Oh, we're going in there. there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, just coming here to hang out, just right? check it out. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> hey, we jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> Man, could you imagine like if you were in the tub and all of a sudden a semi just came <laughs> crashing? It's like a, through the, a family guy. Yeah, a family guy episode. What the hell? No, 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 no! It's kind of creepy.
super creepy. Cool first stop on the way to the Keys. Onwards. All right, so this place is called Okeechobee Fish Company. Definitely feels like middle of nowhere. Get some food and see how the burger is. All right, food has arrived. Eric had a burger. Yeah, yeah. It, it was there. Kenny, what was yours? Snapper sandwich. Nope. Normal dress. Gator po' boy, fried okra fries, and lobster bisque. Nice. This whole place is like three stories or some craziness. Really? I think so. Oh wow! It looked like it was three stories from outside. Oh, this is. It smells really nice. It does. This place is nice. Oh, there's a washer and dryer. Oh yeah, I didn't bring any Tide Pods. Okay, there's Eric's and Kenny's room. <laughs> the bunk bedroom. Well, there's another room. Oh sh. Sheesh. It's nice as. F this is beautiful. They even brought. There's towels. Nice. What? Dude, far out. Isn't this nuts? This is super nice. Dude, this is really nice. This is the third floor. It has a vanity, it's fine. I do my makeup. Cool. I get this one. Where's Wes sleeping? Get my bag. Throw it up here. For three nights, like I paid more for my crappy motel in Clearwater than we did for this entire house. So we went three nights in on this entire place all together. The total was like 1300 bucks, but it was like 350 bucks each for each of us. Yeah, so we, we all split it evenly and it was like 350 for three nights in the Keys. We're in Key Largo mm -hmm. instead of Key West. Key West was like crazy booked up. I mean, it's like, what, an hour ride? <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Uh, we got to review that like right now. <laughs> it's like, what, an hour? I know. I look back. <laughs> <laughs> Your foot was like. <laughs> we have literally just got here and I'm cry laughing already. Like that was ridiculous. <laughs> so now I'm super hesitant. Going up that second flight of stairs, like the the edges of them, like they feel like they give. They're they're not solid. And then there's a broken one here. So. I'm just gonna just and they're different like widths too. So like this isn't the same width as this one. Isn't the same width as this one. Yeah, they're Ikea stairs. Super sketchy. And watch that bottom step. <laughs> just like, yeah, and this one is... The edge on it, look at it, it like comes up completely. Yeah, that's super. I, uh, Hold on to the rail. I may not be sleeping on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 175 pounds. <laughs> what are you, like 180? Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll go with that. 185. I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> so we're uh, going to shop to get some stuff. Is that yes. right? Uh, family dollar, liquor store, then dinner. Yes, the necessities. <laughs> and then tomorrow morning is Are whenever we were. Are for going downstairs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Safety first. Yeah, you just wear, you just wear that all, at all times in this house. Yeah, or just while approaching the stairs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Bay side grille. So, see what I eat. That was good. Key lime cider. Food. Churrasco. I also got a quick bit of mango guava. Uh, Amazing. Uh, West. Oh, yeah. Now. Key West, don't play. 
Fire. Largo. Where? Key Largo. I mean, Key Largo. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Close enough. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Good job, Kenny. <laughs> good choice, Ralph. <laughs> good morning, beautiful. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, welcome to the next morning. The yeah. Coffee. So the mattress felt every board. Oh really? Oh no. <laughs> Kenny, how'd you sleep? Enough. Sleep okay? Good enough. Uh, Jess, don't fall. I know, I'm so very <laughs> cautious. All right, so this is the grounds, I guess, and there's somebody swimming in the pool. You know, it's like 50 degrees right now. It's, it's pretty chilly. What the f Do a kickflip again. <laughs> Let me get you vlogging in my vlog. Hey guys. Hey guys. What's up? Hey guys. Uh, <laughs> yes. I didn't even bring my phone. So this is part of my daily routine. <laughs> oh, go on. Tell me more. I go for a nice walk by the beach. Check out the boats. I'm into it. Keep going. <laughs> I kind of don't want to mess up. <laughs> guys so we just went right by mile marker zero found some parking check out this they call it the kapok tree there's a bunch of chickens and stuff around it definitely gonna have to re-put the blockhead sticker up somewhere there you go mile zero oh my gosh teamwork <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's run. <laughs> I think he's straight up Real MVPs right there. I'm going to jail. <laughs> Take a tunnel. <laughs> All right, Jess, where are we going? The Green Parrot Bar had really great ratings, and it's very busy, so. Legend has it that whenever you go into this place, they actually give you your own green parrot to wear on your shoulder. I think he's going to have a fun ride back. <laughs> <laughs> So here at the Green Parrot Bar, I don't see any green parrots. There's a, there's a parachute though. Parachute. Parachute. Some Irishy looking parachute. It's a good vibe. So we're gonna have some drinks, need a coffee, and uh, see what we get into. All right, mates. The more we drink, the more the accents come out. So <laughs> here at our favorite restaurant, Fo King Awesome. All right, we just. Walk through the drive-through of a <laughs> state park. Eric paid for all of us to get in here. Yeah. Thank worth, you, Eric. It was worth the five dollars. A whopping, I'll tell you that right a now. whopping five dollars. Five dollars. And yeah, then she told us the best spot to see the sunset, so we're gonna watch the sunset. Oh, romantic. Yes. <laughs> it's cool to be able to share stuff like this with friends. You know, gotta appreciate this. One. outside of Blue Heaven here. Uh, so this is a restaurant that we went to last time around uh, whenever we were in the Keys and it's amazing. Like the history behind this restaurant is incredible. I can't remember who recommended it to us, but super cool neon sign out front, really old vibe to it. Majority of their seating is outside. So they've got some stuff inside, which is where we're seating, which is totally fine because it's cold, but check out this patio. Check out the safe in the tree. We've got live music. Full outdoor bar, outdoor shower. Then the place across the street as well. It's called Andy's Cabana. Live music, like some jazz stuff over there as well. So, super cool area. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, nerds. I was literally just talking about Hey, it. what are you doing? We took a man's about you, bro. Oh, it's a crazy little piggy. Damn you, shade tree. <laughs> it's so catchy. It was like poking out. Oh, I didn't know. It. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like mid-dinner and they bring up the video and I'm crying again. I mean, it's like, what, an hour? Right. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> like, realization like right before, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. It's the funniest thing, like I was just like... Oh, <laughs> Look, that's my foot. <laughs> I'm 
like see the beer. <laughs> Made it back. We're all cold. Triggering Northerners this entire trip by Floridians saying it's cold. Dude, we're frozen. Yeah, it was. Hey, we got here, it was like 50 degrees. I'm, I'm a popsicle. People are like, 50 degrees. I was born in the great wide north in the Arctic. I've ridden in colder, but that was cold. It was also very windy. Yeah, the wind. yeah. it was yeah. very windy. I think everybody's pretty beat. I'm done with the camera for the day, so I'm gonna put y'all away. Frozen. What's up, nerds? It's the next day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I hope I'm not in frame. <laughs> it's a wide angle. Everybody's in frame. Yeah. Uh, so it's the morning, and uh, we're debating yes. on ordering breakfast or going to get breakfast. We're not even hungover. We're no. just, that was a long, cold ride back last night. Everybody's just tired. All right, nerds. We're all getting ready. <laughs> and, uh, Apparently we're going to see some fish. You can actually swim in here? Yeah. Like they'll let you swim in here? Yeah. Look at the... Well... I forgot you can see my shadow, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I need me some pancakes. Let's go. Motorcycle. No. I don't drop bikes, I drop myself, okay? Oh no, stairs, I better put on my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to what is this place even called? Gilbert's uh, Resort. I Gilbert's think. Resort. We hit this place in the original Keys videos as well. It's actually one of our first like stops in the Keys, and we're back. And it looks just as beautiful. I uh, could spend all day here. Yeah. This is gorgeous. That would suck if he would have pooped on me. All right, guys, so as y'all know, I have an Indian FTR 1200 in my shop. Jess is saying that she would like to ride it back to Ohio. I said I'll help you put some miles on the bike if you want. Back to Ohio? Yeah. It's the only way. It's a thousand miles, one way. Do I it. said you ain't gonna ride an FTR back to Ohio. I absolutely will. I just might not do it in the comfort and timely manner as I would on a road glide. More than welcome to borrow it. Is it charged? Does it start? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there air in the tire? Is there air in the tires? <laughs> there is. You. Gas in the tank? No gas in the tank, probably. But. <laughs> Does it come with the same uh, gas? Do I get a blockhead gas card? I'll f yeah, I'll ride it to California. It's not California a thing. It doesn't back. exist. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Goal 2023. Two. What year is it? 2023. Wow. Sure, let's try it. Put the beer down. Jess, yeah. it's That's only good. 10 a.m. We're doing Jess. It's 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Jeez. Totally not here. to the next day uh we are packing up to head back to orlando so it's pretty much been the trip here in the keys having to strip down the bed and all that good stuff part of the rules the rules up here at this place is like you have to freaking clean it it's kind of bs like why are we paying all this money back clean it you want to fall down the stairs one more time um i'll watch you right <laughs> Alright, 
homies. We're gonna go ahead and put an outro on this uh, episode for the keys. Where are we right now? West Palm? Just outside West Palm? Uh, yeah. Something Del Rey. We got about two and a half hours. Jess can make it on one tank, so she might continue going ahead, so this might be the time. Last time we're all together for this trip. So uh, we're gonna gas up, continue back to Orlando. Appreciate you guys watching. For all you guys, Kenny, Jess, Eric, Wes. Wow, I rhymed. Kind of fun. Kenny, Jess, Eric, Wes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been lots of fun. Thank you guys. Didn't plan on doing the keys until Jess was like, hey, I'm coming down from Ohio, because it's freezing and it sucks. Joke I want to go to the me. Keys. <laughs> and then she brought the cold with her. Yeah. I'm from the north and it was cold. It was very cold this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode though. If you did, do us a favor. Hit the like button. Let's YouTube know that we're doing a good job. Definitely going to start doing more uh, travel vlogs and stuff like that. Obviously with motorcycles. I uh, got a trip coming up, which I hope you guys are going to enjoy. We're going to be up in Milwaukee at Mama Tribe. Mama so Tribe. Jess is going to be there as well. Uh, also Jared Weems and Jordan. Yeah, so right? if you guys are interested, get a ticket. It's a three day or a two day show, bike show, and there's flat out Friday racing on Friday. So yes. good time. Chris is going also, sick wide glide. So I'm uh, I'm dragging him if you guys want to meet him. Hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Be part of that billion squad. Until next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. And be good. Catch you guys on the next one. Justin, insert that clip of Jess falling down the stairs one more time. Right. Ha 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 ha!